Rogers. Steven. Just give me a chance. Sorry, son. I'm saving your life. General Patton has said that wars are fought with weapons, but they are won by men. You just don't know when to give up, do you? I could do this all day. Our goal is to create the greatest army in history. I should be going with you. Look, I know you don't think I can do this. This isn't a back alley, Steve. It's war. But every army begins with one man. Five tries in five different cities. I can offer you a chance. He will be the first in a new breed of super soldiers. Why me? Because the weak men knows the value of strength. Knows the value of power. That wasn't so bad. That was penicillin. We are going to win this war because we have the best men. Now, Mr. Stark. They will personally escort Adolf Hitler to the gates of hell. invasion, big car chase, truth be told, I was ready to hang it up till I met you today. So you're not from around here. It's hard to explain. I keep having these memories. I see flashes. I think I had a life here. But I can't tell if it's real. We have no idea what threats are out there. We can't do this alone. We need you. I'm not what you think I am. No one's allowed to talk, is that it? You can't talk? No, you intimidate them. Good God, you're a woman. <laughs> is it better to be feared or respected? And I say, is it too much to ask for both? I humbly present the Jericho. To peace. Tony Stark. Now you work for me. What are you building, Stark? Your 
eyes are red. A few tears for your long lost boss? Tears of joy. I hate job hunting. Yeah, vacation's over. Welcome home, sir. Put up the scanner, will you? What happened over there? I have my eyes open. I want to protect the people I put in harm's way. A man with a dozen of these can rule all of Asia. Yeah, I can fly. Let's see if this dog can hunt. So the upgrade is complete. Tell you what, throw a little hot rod red in there. Damn. Good luck keeping up. Let's face it, this is not the worst thing you've caught me doing. There's been speculation that I'm parading around as a superhero. I'm just not the, the hero type, clearly. Pick up now where we left off. Mr. Stark, please. Yes, dear. Could I have your attention? Absolutely. Our priority here is to have you turn over the Iron Man weapon to the American people. Well, you can forget it. We're safe. America is secure. You want my property? You can't have it. But I did you a big favor. I have successfully privatized world peace. We're adjourned for the day. You've been a delight. OK, give me a smooch for good luck. I might not make it back. Go get him, boss. You complete me. guilty man. You try to rewrite your own history. And you forget all the lives the Stark family has destroyed. They will be blood in the water. And the sharks will come. It's not easy to do what you did. You made my men look like a bunch of minimum wage mall cops. That's hurtful. 
Would you like to tell me where you received your training? Afghanistan? Chechnya? Who are you? much to achieve peace for through your arrogance and stupidity you have opened these peaceful realms and innocent lives to the horror and devastation of war you are a vain greedy cruel boy and you are an old man and a fool you're unworthy father I am. and now take from you your power! And I cast you out! Please, open your eyes. Oh, no, this is Earth, isn't it? Where did it come from? Your ancestors called it magic. And you call it science. I come from a place where they're one and the same. He has disobeyed his king. His fate is in his own hands now. I will end this. I've got a problem. There are aspects of my personality that I can't control. See so you shrink. It's a little bit more complicated than that. Bruce, trust me when I tell you I've heard them all. Not this one. We've never seen anything even close to your levels of exposure. That you survived an event like that, it's beyond my comprehension. I don't want to control it. I want to get rid of it. As far as I'm concerned, that man's whole body is property of the U.S. Army. They want it as a weapon. If we let it go, we will never get it back. There's only one thing that can fight that, it's in me. Maybe if I can control it, I can use it. You were made to be ruled. In the end, it will be every man for himself. What do we do? We get ready. There was an idea to bring together a 
group of remarkable people. So when we needed them, they could fight the battles that we never could. Gentlemen, what are you prepared to do? No offense, but I don't play well with others. Big man in a suit of armor. Take that away, what are you? A uh, genius, billionaire, playboy, philanthropist. <laughs> can't protect the Earth. You can be damn sure we'll avenge it. Dr. Banner, your work is unparalleled, and I'm a huge fan of the way you lose control and turn into an enormous green rage monster. Thanks. Stark. I build neat stuff. I got a great girl. And occasionally save the world. So why can't I sleep? You elected me on a single platform. I will defend this country at all costs. The Mandarin must be stopped. You don't know who I am. You'll never see me coming. What are you going to do about these attacks? The whole world's gonna be watching. The question, where is Tony Stark? Things are different now. I have to protect the one thing that I can't live without. That's you. Mr. Stark. Today is the first day of what's left of your life. Go! I'm gonna offer a choice. Do you want an empty life or a meaningful death? You're not a man. You're nothing more than a maniac. I'm not afraid of you. No politics here. Just good old-fashioned revenge. Do you need backup? That's your department. There's my boys. After all this time, now you come to visit me, brother. Why? To mock. I need your help. But I wish I could trust you. If you did, you'd be the fool I always took you for. Some believe that before the universe, there was nothing. They're wrong. It was darkness, and it has survived. What's gonna happen? I gave you my word. I would return for you.
you face an enemy, no, no only to a few. No, no, only to one. You must be truly desperate to come to me for help. If we do nothing, they will destroy us. You even think about betraying him. And I'll kill you. That was from New York. I like her. Thor, your bravery will not ease your pain. Your family, your world will be extinguished. We're running out of time. The very fabric of reality will be torn apart. I'll find a way to save us all. Anyone else? Coming up on the drop zone, Cap. You do anything fun Saturday night? Well, all the guys in my barbershop quartet are dead, so... No, not really. You know, if you ask Kristen out from statistics, you'd probably say yes. That's why I don't ask. Too shy or too scared? Too busy! Was he wearing a parachute? No. No, he wasn't. I joined S.H.I.E.L.D. to protect people. Captain. To build a better world? Sometimes means tearing the old one down. And that makes enemies. Are you ready for the world to see you as you really are? You look out the window. You know how the game works. Disorder, war. All it takes is one step. We're gonna neutralize a lot of threats before they even happen. Thought the punishment usually came after the crime. Shield takes the world as it is, not as we'd like it to be. This isn't freedom. This is fear. You need to keep both eyes open. Before we get started, does anyone want to get out? Your work has been a gift to mankind. You've shaped the century. I need you to do it one more time. You up. It's time. Legendary Outlaw? Forget it. We arrested these five on Xandar. Check out the rap sheets. Drax, AKA the Destroyer. Since his wife and family were killed, he's been on a rampage across the galaxy in a search for vengeance. Gamora, soldier, assassin, wanted on over a dozen counts of murder. 
Rocket, wanted on over 50 charges of vehicular theft and escape from lockup. What the hell? Groot, has been traveling recently as Rocket's personal houseplant slash muscle. Peter Jason Quill. He's also known as Star-Lord. Who calls him that? Himself, mostly. He's wanted largely on charges of minor assault, public intoxication, and fraud. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't know how this machine worked. Hey, hey, hey! That's mine! You son of a... Hey! Take those headphones off right now! They call themselves the Guardians of the Galaxy. And a bunch of a-holes. Hope you're ready. It'll be here any minute. Is that a rifle? You don't know what a rifle looks like? It's just swords were your thing and guns were mine. But I guess we were both doing guns now. I just didn't know that. Well, that's intense. I see it within you. Fear. Jealousy, betrayal. It is our duty to cleanse the universe of this weakness. You know, they told me you people were conceited douchebags, but that isn't true at all. Dude, uh, I'm using my wrong eye. Through, put your seatbelt on! Jack up our prices for two time galaxy savers. Yes! you're searching for your whole life it's right there by your side all along you're right all you do is yell at each other you are not friends no we're family except maybe her After all these years, I've found you. And who the hell are you? I'm your dad, Peter. <laughs> I know you mean well. You want to protect the world, but you don't want it to change. There's only one path to peace. Your extinction. I'm gonna show you something beautiful. The whole world screaming for mercy. Everyone tangled in Strings.
the end. The end of the path I started us on. Nothing lasts forever. Imagine a soldier the size of an insect. The ultimate secret weapon. If you give godlike powers to everyone, it's gonna be chaos. So how do we stop him? I know a guy. Scott, I've been watching you for a while. You're different. And I believe everyone deserves a shot at redemption. Do you? Absolutely. My days of breaking into places and stealing stuff are over. What do you want me to do? I want you to break into a place and steal some stuff. Makes sense. Are you ready to become a hero? Now, the suit has power. You have to learn how to control it. And these are your greatest allies. You're kind of cute. Whoa. When you're small, you have superhuman strength. You like a bullet. So you need to know how to punch. You want to show me how to punch? Show me how to punch. That's how you punch. You tried to hide your suit from me. Now, it's gonna blow up in your face and destroy everyone you care about. Scott, get out of there! Did you think you could stop the future? You're just a thief! No, a man, man. I know, it wasn't my idea. Buck, do you remember me? Your mom's name was Sarah. You used to wear newspapers in your shoes. You're a wanted man. I don't do that anymore. Well, the people who think you did are coming right now. And they're not planning on taking you alive. Captain, while a great many people see you as a hero, there are some who'd prefer the word vigilante. You've operated with unlimited power and no supervision. That's something the world can no longer tolerate. I know how much Bucky means to you. Stay out of this one. Please, you'll only make this worse. You saying you'll arrest me? There will be consequences. Captain, you seem a little defensive. Well, it's been a long day. 
If we can't accept limitations, we're no better than bad guys. That's not the way I see it. Sometimes I want to punch you in your perfect teeth. I just want to make sure we consider all our options. Because people that shoot at you usually wind up shooting at me too. You know what's about to happen. Do you really want to punch your way out of this? What do we do? We fight. You know I wouldn't do this if I had any other choice. But he's my friend. So was I. I have seen gods fly. I've seen men build weapons that I couldn't even imagine. Uh-huh. I've seen aliens drop from the sky. Yeah. But I have never seen anything like this. How much more are you hiding? Hold up. Let's go. 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 My son, it is your time. Show me my respect and bow down. You get to decide what kind of king you are going to be. Don't freeze. I never freeze. The revolution will not be televised. Show me my respect. And bow down. We own ya. We own ya. We only get started now. Cause we own ya. You gotta think they know me now. Cause we own ya. You and not my homie now. Cause we own ya. Uh, I waited my entire life for this. Uh, the world's gonna start over. I'ma burn it all. What happens now determines what happens. To the rest of the world. You will not be able to stay home, brother. You will not be able to plug in, turn on, and cop out. The revolution will not be televised. Let's have some fun. The revolution. This is my chance to prove myself. What's up, guys? Wait a minute. You guys aren't the real Avengers. I can tell Hulk gives it away. Oh, that was awesome. Does Liz get a new top? No, we've seen that before. Never with that skirt. She probably stops staring before it gets creepy, though. Too late. You guys are losers. So to become an Avenger, are there like trials or an interview? Just don't do anything I would do. And definitely don't do anything I wouldn't do. There's a little gray area in there and that's where you operate. Oh. All right. That's not a hug, I'm just grabbing the door for you. All right, kid. Good luck out there. I'm feeling rough, I'm feeling rough. Listen, I know school sucks. Peter, you still with us? Uh, yeah, yeah. I know you want to save the world, but you're not ready yet. You're the Spider-Man. No, I'm not. I'm not. This is just a costume. This is from the ceiling. Stay close to the ground and stay out of trouble. 
Forget the flying monster guy. There are people who handle this sort of thing. I'm sick of him treating me like a kid all the time. But you are a kid. This is my chance to prove myself. Peter, what is going on with you? I'm really sorry. I'm so busy. I'm slammed. Don't mess with me, because I will kill you and everybody you love. I just have one question. When Cap needed help, if I'd asked you, would you have come? I guess we'll never know. But if you had, you'd have never been caught. I do some dumb things, and the people I love the most, they pay the price. Thanks to you, we had to run. We're still running. Let's go. Maybe you just need someone watching your back. Like a partner. Hold on. You gave her wings and blasters. So I take it you didn't have that tech available for me? No, I did. Stephen Strange. Might I offer you some advice? Forget everything that you think you know. You're a man looking at the world through a keyhole. You've spent your life trying to widen it. Your work saved the lives of thousands. What if I told you that reality is one of many? I don't believe in fairy tales about chakras or energy or the power of belief. You wonder what I see in your future? Possibility. doing this. There are other ways to save lives. So much you don't know. So much has happened since I last saw you. I lost my hammer, like yesterday, so that's still pretty fresh. And then I went on a journey of self-discovery. Where I met you. Where are we? 
are we? You have no idea. Hello, the goddess of death has invaded Asgard. Oh, I've missed this. And you and I had a fight recently. Did I win? No, I won easily. Doesn't sound right. Well, that's true. Asgard is dead. And it will be reborn in my image. I thought you'd be glad to see me. I need to stop her here and now. To prevent Ragnarok, the end of everything. So they're putting together a team. Like the old days. Surprise! This will be such fun. Hello. Hi. He's a fighter. Here we go. I'm not a queen or a monster. I'm the goddess of death. What were you the god of again? We're the same, you and I. Just a couple of hot-headed fools. Yeah, same. Hulk like fire, mm. Thor like water. Well, we're kind of both like fire. But Hulk like raging fire, Thor like smoldering fire. <laughs>
can do is our best. And sometimes the best that we can do is to start over. I saw all these people die. I keep telling everybody they should move on. Some do, but not us. Even if there's a small chance, we owe this to everyone who's not in this room to try. We will. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. I like this one.